Hello everybody! It feels like it's a little early in the month for this, but we're doing my January plan with me today. Um, I've already set up my context list. This is on the Peanuts Planner Co. Um, categorized list. And I just use this for my next action items. I've done a whole video about that. You can see it in the corner. Um, today I'm going to be decorating this monthly grid... Um, monthly overview. I forget what it's officially called. From My Summer Touch. It's a really awesome monthly. I've been using it since uh, I set it up in November, but it wasn't my primary monthly view in November. Um, it was just sort of, I was testing it out, um, but I used it all December, or I have been so far, and it's been going really well. I like the layout. I like everything that's on here. It's really great, and so I'm going to be setting up to, uh, January also in here so I don't consider myself to like have synesthesia but I definitely associate I have associations of certain things and I definitely associate January with blue I don't know why but um last year I set up my January with a purple theme to sort of I don't know Mostly because I really wanted to use um, this one, which I had gotten as a gift for Christmas. But uh, this year I'm going back to the, my tried and true, true blue January color theme. So, here. I'm doing some more of these like washi taped edges lately. Um, You'll see when I show you my 2020 setup, which should be, provided I finish it in time, next Thursday's video, my 2020 setup. So let's, uh, let's start on page two here. I do need my highlighter. There we go. So I don't know yet what my focus goal is going to be. If it needs to be something that's like time sensitive or something that happens um, in... I really wish I could redo this. There's not a lot of room, honestly, on this. I mean, I understand why, because everything was like compressed down um, to fit in the pocket, and so I'm grateful that this exists. I'll just say that. This insert fits in the pocket size at all is a feat of engineering. But, like, the problem with pre-printed inserts and hourly anything is that it's always going to be, like, one person's decision um, as to which hours get included. So, like, the my summer touch insert that I've been using for my weekly is all of December. It's the grid lovers. Um, the little hourly section on the side of that starts at seven, no, at six. And I wake up at five, you know, so not happy with that. Super happy with that either. This one just starts at eight and it doesn't really matter because this like my typical weekly routine does not change month to month. So I wonder if there would be a better use for this section for me. But in any case, here we are just sort of filling it out. My work hours. Yeah, could be prettier. But I won't actually reference this day to day. There we go. Almost done. There we go. The um the folded bit. If I filled that out before I folded it, it would probably be better. Now it's leaking through. Oh well. Uh, let's see. So I have not yet decided what the focus goal for the month is going to be. It might be something related to my New Year's resolution, um, but I don't know yet. Um, I'm just gonna like highlight it, but I don't think I will. 
All right. Let's see. So typically, go to the library on Tuesday evenings, and usually, right? Typically, that's the point. And Thursday on Sunday is when we go to. Alright, um, I will fill this out because I don't think it. No, I, I can fill it out now. Right. Got a couple of bills. And I'll fill in the amounts later. All right, and we'll fill the other side. Um, I'm using this side here, th these little boxes, um, to sort of designate like a focus in the morning um, for my, my 5 to 6 a.m. hour. Um, and so I'm going to plan to do that again in sun on Sunday. Um, based on what my 2020 setup is, I might not end up using it for that, and in which case, I don't know, I'll decide something else. Let's see, let's use three and cover up if, as soon as I can grab the washi tape. Here we go. It features options for Sunday through Saturday or Monday through Sunday. And I've explained this before. I plan my weeks Monday through Sunday, but I visualize my monthly calendars uh, Sunday through Saturday. So the first is Wednesday. I have not been feeling well in the last week. It has not been going good. Um, I got like the weirdest cold where like I started off with just a fever and no symptoms. I felt fine, except I was getting like hot flashes and chills intermittently. And so I've been hopped up on Advil <laughs> for the last week. Um, I'm just generally not feeling my very, very best, and I'm really hoping that I'll get over this. Um, I'm filming this on Monday of the last full week before Christmas, and because I'm not working, everything's kind of thrown off. When I'm at home, I, I kind of consider that to not be a normal day. Like, it's not like I'm doing personal stuff at work, really, but like those days that I'm at work are the days that I schedule all the things I want to do like in the early morning or whatever or in the evening days that I'm not working I try to just set aside to be with my family and so the fact that I'm not going to be um that I'm like gonna be at home with the family for most of Christmas week and then we're taking some time off to go traveling or over New Year's, and so I'm basically I'm trying to get ahead. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to get ahead on all of my video production and stuff so that I don't have to worry about it over the holidays. But when you're feeling crummy like this, it's not the very best. Alright, time to pull out the future log. Um, here we are. This is my brand new future log for 2020. It's exactly the same as last year's, but it's on the 2020 bundle from Peanuts Planner Co. So, let me see. Let me first highlight my weekends, as you do. Um, the 4th and 5th. Eighteen, nineteen. 
and 25, 26. No. Looks good to me. So. Um, anything that's on here that doesn't have a date just goes straight on here. And here we go. Events on this side and tasks on this side. So again, the point of this, like this is supposed to be a tracker. See, it's labeled one through 10. And then this is labeled one through 10 for the key. But I'm not using trackers lately. I stopped using trackers in November. It's working well for me. I'm not ready to go back to them. So for now, I've got tasks on this side and events on this side. Um, and I'm just using this as just a line, so. And then we have a new fresh copy of the reoccurring tasks list, also from Peanuts Planner Co. It's all fresh and beautiful. Um, so I'm just gonna move these things onto here. So that is pretty much it for my monthly. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple, pretty um, minimalist. We'll go for minimalist. This is one of my favorite washi tapes, so I'm very excited about that. Um, and just generally slightly astronomy-ish, though there's not a lot of astronomy that I particularly do in January. Um, it's a lot more fun to start gazing in the summer. Do love me some Perseids. Anyway. Um, I still have to decide what my focus goal or focus project is for the month. So then I can kind of fill this out and maybe use this as a reference um, a little bit more than the last month in December. My focus goal was Christmas, which I was focusing on anyway. So I never really had to look at this side of the page. Um, and so I had it in the planner this way. This was the very first page. And so I find, I have been finding that when I need to go to look at my monthly, I don't flip to the front. First, what I look for is this folded over part and I'll go straight here. So I'm not really looking at this and I'm therefore not getting my next actions done. So um, I think this next month, I'm gonna put it in like this instead. So that this is at the front, look at that, great. And then also try to remember, have a reason to look here and then remember to look here at these next action items. Um, it's just, I haven't been getting a lot of this stuff done. Partly, I think mostly just be between Christmas and getting sick. I just haven't had the time to focus on the stuff that can be put off. And so I do. So I'm going to move whatever needs to get moved over onto this one and hopefully be able to make a fresh start with the new year and a new sense of motivation and, uh, and get some stuff done, check it all off uh, the next action items list. So that's where we are. Happy New Year, everybody, coming up. Um, though this video is going out before Christmas, so, you know, happy holidays in general. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. Subscribe if you haven't already. I post videos twice a week, so I'll see you in the next one on Sunday. Bye.